Is it strange to think of water as a precious renewable resource while facing the Arabian Sea? Around the famous city of Dwarka are large tracts of drought-prone land. And on this western coast of Gujarat, people have abandoned villages in despair. The same area houses a 50-year-old energy-intensive chemical unit, which promotes a symbiotic relationship with the community and environment. The chemical products of this complex are supplied to nearly 2,000 industrial units in India. The entire production system is integrated with concepts of energy efficiency, waste recycling and resource conservation. Water management is an example. R&D-based technology has made it possible to replace fresh water with seawater in the industrial process. While scarce fresh water is conserved and reused carefully. In fact, ultimately the unit is able to provide drinking water not just for cattle but even for vulnerable villagers facing water shortage. PA is not a problem either. After running the industrial process, the captive PA plant supplies surplus PA to the main grid. Even efficiently derived steam is used like a continuous renewable source of energy. For instance, this goods locomotive needs no coal. It runs for nearly six to seven hours on high pressure steam. But beyond efficient recycling of resources, the unit does end up with polluting industrial wastes. Some of them are now being used to produce cement and the unit's surplus power runs the cement plant. Earlier, these wastes were put onto landfill sites on which trees were planted, creating carbon sinks within the complex. Mitapur in Gujarat is proof that recycling of resources and wastes can make even industrial areas into greener sites.